We are just a few short hours away from the ultimate Yom Haddin of Yom Kippur. The day when we stand in front of our Kaddish Baruch Hu and we beg for forgiveness. And the task at hand is daunting. Especially when compared to what B'nai Yisrael was able to do a few thousand years ago. They stood in the base Hamikdash, they had the entire avodah, the entire service of everything they were able to do in the Holy Temple. They had the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, who was able to walk into the Kodesh HaKadosh in the holiest place in the world and gain the atonement on behalf of the entire nation. How do we reach such a level? How can we hold ourselves to that high of a standard? Amazingly enough, one of the authors of one of the slichos of Erev Yom Kippur asks this very same question. And he says, we don't have the base of Mikdash, we don't have Korbanos. What is able to gain our atonement for us? Answers the Python, you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you are the one who can give us that atonement. How? Because you are the Bochein Klayus Falev. You are the one who reaches into our hearts. You are the one who can see our very inner desires, our very inner yearnings. You can see how badly we want to do tshuva, how much we want to become a better Jew. And with seeing what's in our hearts, the asuli mikdash v'shachanti v'socham. V'socham is what the Pasuk says. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, if you make a mikdash in your hearts, I will dwell within you. By us creating those emotions in our hearts, by us wanting to have a better year, wanting to gain that atonement on behalf of our averos, and wanting to go into the new year full of kedusha and tara, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will see it and will give us that atonement that we so desperately need.